Yo, 5,000 feet, now my cipher complete I'm good in the streets and I'm good in the peace Party to Damascus with all my hiker trash Knock the world off its axis, call me the Black Alachian, yeah Good morning, good morning, day 16 Making my way back through Giannis Coming along this beautiful city street Got started this morning, it's a little bit past uh, 8 in the a.m. Rainy day, as you can see. It rained all night last night. I got some great sleep, man. It was like super stormy last night. So that was cool, cool, very cool. Uh, it's supposed to be rain all day today, off and on, scattered. A couple thunderstorms here and there. it has been a few rumblings this morning, but it's all good, man. It's part of the game. I have... Uh, been in Spain for what about almost three weeks now about 18 19 days and uh it's been beautiful the whole entire time so one day of rain you know who can complain about that I think it's gonna rain tomorrow as well but then it should clear up Sunday today is Friday so we'll see love and light to all man What's up, man? Back again, day 16. Look at this beautiful view that I have right now. Man, I wish I could swim really good. I might go dive in one time. That looks amazing. Ah, I just dived in this puddle. <laughs> Dead in that puddle. Big dummy. What is this? Oh, there's people out there surfing. Can you see? Um, middle of the screen. Back again, leaving the beach area, headed around to the next town. I want to say I'm in Poo, P O O. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's how. Yeah, that's the only one way I know how. Let me slide by this van. Keep it pushing. Even though it's rainy out, it's still beautiful, man. It's just amazing. And I've been finding myself like daydreaming, like, cause all this stuff is so old. I'm like, man, they were shooting in the cannon yesterday uh, cause they was having a celebration through town, through the middle of town. And uh, they were just shooting the cannon off one time. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm thinking like, I wonder what it would sound like with 50, 100 of those going off at once, like in the middle of one of these wars, because you know these beaches have seen war. Uh, actually, one of them that I passed a while back, I think in the Basque Country or in Cantabria was a uh, bomb. I think World War One or World War Two, one of those. So, a lot of history, man, a lot of history. Just thinking about all the people that have came through here, have seen this type of scenery that i've seen and how it looked before i was even alive and you know even back into the 1300s 1400s all that even before that man this is so much history anyways i'm rambling love and light peace
what's up folks day 16 making my way to uh river to say i learned how to say it shout out to annalisa and jamie passed by them they taught me how to actually say the word of the name of the town actually so that's pretty cool look at these painted rocks and studios pretty cool pretty cool big boy right there getting this grub on you dig how cool is this took a lot of time and effort got some hikers got looks to be santiago or a church at least butterfly hikers a wolf or fox Pretty cool, pretty cool, Buen Camino. So, yeah, just making my way. Uh, I'm about six miles, maybe five or six miles away from River de Silla. Uh At this point, been moving pretty good. It's been pretty flat, just a couple of climbs here and there. Uh, not nothing major, so it's good. I kind of feel bad, because I kind of feel like I should be up there hiking on top of those bad boys, to be honest with you. I'm so used to them, them, them big climbs. But uh, yeah, there's some nice, nice peaks right there. I wouldn't mind getting on top of that. I probably got amazing views from up there, Jack. I thought these views down here or something. Get up there and see what happens. Magical. You dig? But uh, love and light. Hopefully y'all having a great day when you watch this. Shout out to the crab apples. And uh, I'm gonna keep pushing. I ate one earlier, pretty big one, but um, I ain't gonna try to eat a bunch of them because they be running around with the bubble guts, man. I can't have the BGs out here on the trail. You dig what I'm saying? I went to a bathroom the other day when I was standing down at that campground. First thing in the morning, trying to use the bathroom. Man, not a damn piece of toilet paper in none of the stalls. I was devastated because, you know, when you finally get to the bathroom, you know, it kind of, you, you really be having to go. Shout out to that. And, and then as soon as I get in there, boy, I about to sit down, look to see when no toilet paper nowhere in the whole bathroom. Luckily, somebody left like a few little, a few little sh sheets, you know what I'm saying, on on the uh, on the sink, on the sink thing. A few dry sheets. I was like, oh man, thank God. Whoever that was, man, you're an angel. You're an angel. You did. So yeah, can't have the BGs out on the trail. Long story short. <laughs> Love and light, man. It's the Black Legend. Peace. Leaving out of the town of Ripa de Sella. Beautiful town, beautiful town. I would stay here, but it's limited options and I want to keep it pushing. So I'm like 21 miles in on a day, something like that. But I still got a couple to go. So let's get to it. y'all think about my move. I got a pretty good move, right? Mm. <laughs> Let me try these guys. Mm. Like, bro, we're trying to eat. Leave us alone. Stop harassing us. Get a life. I wish I could eat grass like that, boy. Straight up. I wouldn't pay for anything out here in these streets. I can eat grass and drink free water. Woo wee. Good life. Mmm. No dice.
Good morning, folks. Day 17 here live from Iglesia de San Esteban. That's where I'm at right now. Beautiful, beautiful church. I love the tile work. As you can see, I got a lot of hikers heading out right now. This is the albergue we stayed at last night. And uh, with amazing views. Check out the views. They got a nice uh, little green space in the back where you can sit and overlook the ocean. Lighthouse, not too far from here, over that way. So pretty cool, pretty cool night. And I was gonna push on and try to find somewhere to camp last night, but I decided to just come back here because I just felt it was easier for me, you know? And I didn't want to wake up with a wet tent this morning and try to dry that off, you know? So let's get to it. Love and light to all, man. It's your boy, the Black Alaskan here, Gate 17, Camino del Norte. Peace. Whoa, nobody told me. I missed the party. Cause it's obviously a big shindig going down that I didn't even know about. Look at all those tents, man. I could have I could have slid right on in. Slid right in where I fit in, you dig? Look they everywhere. Man. Huge stage down there. Yeah, I missed it. It's probably going on all weekend too. But I don't have the time. I gotta get out of here. I gotta keep it pushing. Oh, it's a lot of motorcycles down there. It's supposed to be some kind of bike bike fest or something. Pretty cool. Who would have thunk it? Nice, nice, very nice bikes. What up? Day 17, making my way through Kalunga. Look at that, man. I really love these floral designs, man, that they be having on these houses, man. They so vivid. Just brightens up everything, if you ask me. But uh, yeah, making my way through Kalunga. Just arrived here, it's about 11 o'clock. I'm about I guess about nine miles in on my day. I got about 11 to go to uh, Villa Viciosa and uh, see if I can find me a spot to lay it down tonight. Just sitting here up under this little, like, I guess bus shelter. It looks like to be a bus shelter almost. I don't know if any buses come through here because this seems to be a pretty, you know, back road pretty nice nice back road but it's got a nice little rain drizzle going on so i decided to stop up here and take me a break real quick but uh i just want to share these are the moments that i love that not a lot of people show on their videos because they're not like the views and something spectacular but these are the times right here that i enjoy a lot because you just all i you're with yourself and oh there goes a the lizard running um, you just with yourself, you you in your thoughts, and it gives you a lot of time to reflect and, and expound and think on things. I listen to a lot of podcasts, um, so I just be getting a lot of different ideas coming in my head. And it, I, being out here in a place like this right now up under this shed, it allows you to think. You have a clear mind, and you can you can kind of find those answers that you be looking for um, when you're in society and everything is just moving. Rapid, rapid pace, rapid pace, especially in America, man. We, we fast over there. We really fast. I noticed that um, the places I've been traveling outside of America, a little bit slower, you know, just as far as just the lifestyle and the culture. Um, 
America is 24 seven. Everything is open, nothing closes down. I don't care if it's a, a holiday or something religious and we don't shut down. Over here, they do, you know, even with the siesta thing. So just being able to sit right here and appreciate and, and get a clarity, of, uh, you know, a moment of clarity, you know, that clear mind to say, okay, this is maybe how I want to move next. This is how I want to progress, you know, just with my life, life decisions, things that you be going through. So that's why I am being encouraging you guys to get outside in nature because the traffic noises and, and the noises of the city just get, you know, less and less. And, and you can come out here and actually formulate a thought, a clear thought. And, um, you know, it's, it's just, it's therapeutic. It's therapeutic, it's cathartic, and it just helps you out, man. So that's why I always implore y'all to come out and get out in nature. Um, it's, it's been such a help to me. It, it really changed my life, man. Um, a lot of people hit me up a lot and, and say like, man, you were inspiration, this and that and third. And I still suffer from the imposter syndrome to where I feel like sometimes I don't belong. And I have to remind myself like, man, you know, just embrace who you are now, you know, and embrace what you've, you've been working towards becoming and, and what you are becoming is like a better human being, a more well-rounded human being. Um, more open human being, you know, just evolving, changing. That's what we, we always in a state of evolving and, and just change. We always in a state of change, you know, we just matter moving around at the right frequencies and, and speeds and everything to even formulate this body right now, um, you know. So when you get out here, man, you just have clearer thoughts, man. So please, if you can get out, whether it's just for a day, uh, 30 days, like I'm out here now, 30 days, a little bit more, a little bit less. Six months, Appalachian Trail, PCT, uh, Long Trails, anything like that. Tayara over there in New Zealand. You know, whatever. Whatever you can do, just do. Love and light to all, man. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Always, always. Not much for views, but hey, man. You take the good and the bad. You take the mediocre with the spectacular. You dig? Love and light. Peace.